we are saying that we're just comparing and to see what the differences are. We are a public utility owned by the people of Ghana, 100%. And so there are certain expenditure that if they were not on Ghana Water Company's uh, uh, books, can't bring the tariff low. I keep telling people that our current tariff, for me, is one of the best within the sub region, if you really want to look at them. But what the other, like Bryce Simon is saying, he has equally failed to tell people what those uh, utilities that are performing the way they perform get from citizens, also from uh, maybe the, the, the government. Our tariffs historically, not today, historically have been very, very low. And so current requests is an accumulation of things that should have been done over the years. Let me just give you one example. 2013, January, I can remember, I went to Savulugu to look at their system. Because they take bulk water from Ghana Water Company and redistribute to the people of Savulugu. It was a, a MIDA project. And so they wanted to examine or a, a pilot such a system. So there was, an, there was a private operator that was running it. They were buying a cubic meter of water from Ghana Water Company at 86 pesos. And then distributing to the citizens of Savlugu at two cities. And so at that point, I wanted to actually look at what GWCL's records are. If these people are selling it at this level and making good money, 86 pesos, what is GWCL making out of this? Then a story can be told. And if it means trying to separate uh, the bulk production and distribution, then probably a recommendation is made academically at that time. Uh, Savulugu is very close to Tamale. So there was a problem. People live in Savulugu and work in Tamale. People live in Tamale and work in Zavulu. So they started comparing their water bills. And so there were agitations. What I'm trying to tell you is that historically, the tariffs were low. 